All right, welcome back. We are here in week five. This week, our readings are looking at what's labeled the early republic. You know, many people didn't think George Washington would step down from president. Many people assumed that in electing uh, uh, President Washington, that we had established a dictator. And in spe spectacular fashion, as you read uh, in chapter six last week, uh, General Washington understood that there was a lesson to be learned in stepping down, allowing the people an opportunity to select, to allow this experiment in democracy to work. Uh, and it worked. Uh, John Adams was elected president, and he and Thomas Jefferson will engage in a, uh, in a 15 year rivalry as these two men and their opposing views of how this democracy should work uh, would be uh, manifest in the establishment of new political parties. Here we are in the year 2017, and our political parties have become, uh, in my opinion, a bit onerous. Um, in many ways, it feels as if the political parties are all powerful. The individual ideas are secondary. We are in a two-party system, and while those two parties have changed, have evolved, right? We no longer have the Whigs or the Know Nothing parties or the Free Soil parties. Our our nation is still much like it was in the 1780s, a two-party system. This week we'll learn more about the early years of the Republic. Uh, we will see examples of how the United States politically tried to evolve. We will see the uh, competition between Adams and Jefferson uh, and their respected political parties. We'll also read more about the uh, ways that the United States will engage in discussions with and establish an original policy for dealing with the indigenous tribes. Our primary sources this week will also allow us some moments to reflect on the role of gender. Last week, uh, one of your articles looked at the letter correspondences between uh, John Adams, President Adams, and his wife Abigail Adams. As you re will recall, Abigail Adams spoke very highly about the role of women, uh, pleading with her husband as he was establishing the Constitution to not forget about women. And yet John Adams appeared to have forgotten about the women. We will continue to look more at the role of gender during these years, and the readings will help to highlight how women um, came to be seen as secondary citizens within this country. Now, in terms of assignments, this week is a bit heavy uh, in our assignments. In addition to your normal work of reading quizzes and the primary source analysis, uh, I have also assigned a discussion board, which you again can find under assignments and projects. And I've also assigned, uh, as I mentioned, uh, well, I also have, have the expectation for you to submit your proposal for your final project, your essay or your unessay. Uh, these assignments are due by Sunday, November 12th. Should you have any questions regarding the your proposal, I encourage you to email me before the due date. Uh, I have plenty of time in the early weeks. Shoot me an email Monday or Tuesday. Let me know what you're thinking about. Uh, and when you're ready to submit, please drop your proposal in the Dropbox available in the Assignments and Projects folder. Should you have any questions about these assignments or the readings, I encourage you to send me an email. Furthermore, uh, I encourage you to continue with your uh, annotation project. Uh, this week, as you uh, read through Chapter 7 and some of these primary sources, uh, make sure that you are sticking with within the expectations for this uh, hypothesis uh, annotation assignment. Uh, aim for around three annotations, which are reflections, not summaries of the readings, but original insights, uh, reading between the lines, uh, posing questions that uh, feel unanswered that perhaps I or one of your classmates can help you um, or can try to respond to. Just as a reminder that these 
this project, the hypothesis annotation project, will be due at the end of the term. Uh, I will be looking at uh, a annotation of my choice, and each of you will be recommending uh, a primary source or uh, article that you felt you did a, a particular, particularly strong job in annotating. All right, that's it for me. I wish you the best. Uh, later.